Hey, Magic fans. Welcome back. This is your captain speaking here on Captain Clyde's MTG. Today we have a little something interesting to go over. I found online called State of Design on the website for Magic, which it's actually hidden. And after you hear about this, you're going to understand why it's hidden. So, before we get started, don't forget comment, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. The comments down below will feed that YouTube algorithm and probably start a fight. But... Feel free to get in there and wrestle. So, links in the description to help support the channel. If you'll buy some cards, what have you. We get to 2,000 subscribers. It'll be giveaway time. Members get their own giveaways. Discord is coming. It's all so good. We are on a roll, so don't let it stop now. <gasps> Breathe. So, what does State of Design for 2024 mean? This is Rosewater sharing his thoughts on how he thinks things went. And there's interesting information in here about reprints. Buckle up, Buttercup. It's about to get real. So, it goes on yakety smackety, a lead design of 2003, blah dee blah dee blah. You can look at all the old stuff that he did and talked about. Um, we look back, so forth and so on. Uh, the overall magic design, we pushed boundaries. Yeah, we know that. Power creep, we get it. We learn. We lean into resonance. I, I like how he uses these big words to make it sound cool. Synergy, damn it! Use synergy. Um, to try to make things that excite us, so forth and so on. A lot of individual card designs. Some yes, some no. Lessons. We were too on the nose with some of our tropes. I don't think that's true. I think that some of the tropes they chose to be on the nose about were just bad. Um, because again, when you tell us that we're supposed to in uh, engage with what we like, if we don't buy your shit because we don't like it, that doesn't mean you did it too good. It means it just sucks. Anyway, some individual mechanics were too complex. I could see that for newer players. Um, but let's be honest, if you know the game well or have been playing the game well, you get it. And at the end of the day, Interaction questions always happen because it's magic, and if you've played magic for a while, weird shit happens. And some people pride themselves on making weird shit happen. So, yeah, I've got those friends. Um, more mechanics were, polarized, were, po were po polarizing than previous years. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, mechanics ended up as a highlight and a lesson. Yeah, some of the mechanics were really great, and people loved them, and they were also broken as hell which is also why people love them. So, uh, they also learn planes need to feel more ingrained in the bigger picture. Yes, you can't just throw us in places like, oh, I don't know, Thunder Junction, which was a good set, and I like the cards, but Cowboys, out of nowhere, really? Train robbery? Ugh. Uh, not forget um, the whole... Uh, Karloff Manor clue setting. That was just a complete shit show. But I appreciate them wanting to go in that kind of realm of IP nostalgia style. For the love of God, put a good story behind it. Jesus, you guys get paid enough. You make enough money. Hire one writer. Just one. Preferably a good one. Because... What you got going on ain't working. Anyway, now the news I know you've been waiting for. Let's talk about the sets. Lord of the Rings highlights. Excellent job of capturing flavor of the books mechanically. Yes, this was a great set. Lord of the Rings was amazing. Everybody loved it. Yada, yada, yada. Um, creative elements were amazing. Again, everybody loved the set. The execution of mechanics led to good gameplay. Well, yeah, pretty much. Uh, the whole one ring scenario was really cool. And... Um, all the ring mechanics were really neat. It was kind of built around it. Almost a little too powerful, but still, fine. It was fine. Uh, you know, lessons from that ring uh, temp shoe thing that we just talked about. It was fine, but at some points, it was the whole set, the only thing to do, and it was really overpowered and, and not as fun. Probably could have leaned a little away from that, so it wasn't so, mm, yeah. Uh, they said there was color imbalance uh, in Limited. I don't know what the hell game they were playing. But, yeah, anyway. 
Two of the cards are too good. Gee, can you think what cards those are? That's right, the One Ring and Orcus Bowmasters. Now, with that being said, many feel they're warping the environments they're legally in and wish they'd be banned. Others are concerned about our ability to reprint them. We do have the ability to do so and can even make them in-universe equivalents. The special one of version of the ring was upsetting to some, although enjoyed by others. The only people upset about the one ring are the people who didn't get it, which is everybody except that dude from Canada who pulled it because it was worth $2 million. I mean, come on. At the same time, yes, do it again. I'll play the lottery. Do it every week. So whatever. I think the big takeaway here, though, the ability they said that they will and can reprint the One Ring and Orcish Bowmasters. The thing here is we already know the One Ring is warping many formats, especially the older ones. Bowmasters, the same thing. Now, reprints of the exact same thing is fine, but they'll have to pay IP for that. I don't think they're going to do that. They're going to make their own version of it. Problem with that, if the old version, the new version they make isn't a reskin that they can actually title the One Ring or Orcish, Orcish Bowmasters, and they give it a whole nother name with the same abilities, then you're going to have the option to have eight One Rings in a format. Eight of the One, anyway. Or eight Orcish Bowmasters. Jesus Christ, would that not be insane? Um... But yeah, so that's my biggest fear here. Not because I am positive they'll reprint them. They cost too much money for them not to put those in, not to reprint those into sets. My fear is they're reprinted in a way that the older and the newer version can both be used. Anybody remember uh, Land of War Elf? You know, one green, taps for one green, so one one. Powerhouse card. Not as strong today as it used to be, but you know, back in the day, it was really good. And then they reprint, and then they printed Elvish Mystic, the same card with a different name, which then turned into a green monstrosity powerhouse because the mana ramp was so insane. Not to mention your lands that you cast for one are now beating people in the face. It just, the two, the, the X, I mean, there's a whole deck in, in Legacy called Elves devoted to a bunch of 1 1 Elves that tap for mana that will kill you. So, I mean, Jesus. Are they going to reprint it? Yeah. How they do it, that could be a whole new style of shit show that we are not ready for. So, be ready for that. There, there I'm, I'm, Ted Talk's over. I'll get off my, um, my shelf box. Let's, let's, let's run through the rest real quick. Highlights from Wilds of Eldraine, Enchanting Tales, the bonus sheet was a huge hit. Yep, pretty much. I'll agree with that. Players like the draft archetypes being built around stories. I mean, I guess. Honestly, some of us probably don't care. Uh, the mechanics were mostly well-received. I mean, I think adventures and food tokens and doing things with food are always going to be cool. It was two of the best things they came up with that was A, not overpowered, but B, still powerful enough that everybody wanted to play it. It was it was amazing balance, great mechanics. Um. Roles were fiddled and had logistical issues. Yeah, roles were okay, but at the end of the day, they ended up being very confusing and weren't the best thing. Uh, some players wanted more representation of courts. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we got like one for every color, and that was pretty much the end of it. Uh, some players wanted fa fairy tale top down top downs, less on the nose. Eh, whatever. Do your tropes. I really don't care. I'm all in for this nostalgia. The Lost Caverns of Ixalan. Uh, players like the amazing world building and flavor. Yes, this is one of the world building things they got right. Very right. Big dinosaurs. I like it. Be like big monster. Um, players like the evolution of Ixalan. Actually, yeah. It's kind of going well. That It's like somebody actually wrote a story. Shocking. Uh, players enjoyed the artifact and graveyard themes of the set. For the most part, yes. Uh, can be a bit overpowered, but hey, whatever. Uh, lessons. The set didn't feel underground enough. No shit. How much sky did we see? It's supposed to be lost caverns. Why were we seeing the sun? Like, I mean, whatever, but it, I mean, if you want to be on point, uh, you, you talk about being too on the nose. This was definitely not on the nose. Like, 
I mean, you made cave lands, so kudos to you. Uh, mechanics were too fiddly. Yeah, mechanics were all over the place. Jesus, just so much. Some players dislike Jurassic World tie-in. You know what? Hell with them. Big dinosaur, big monster. I liked big monster. I love dinosaurs. If, if you don't like dinosaurs, I don't know what you did with your life when you were a kid, but you need to try again. Like, who doesn't like dinosaurs? I mean, seriously. Um, Karloff Mana. Oh, this ought to be good. Players like the murder mystery theme in, mo in moderation. <laughs> Key word there, in moderation. Probably meaning very little. Uh, players enjoyed many of the murder mystery theme mechanics. I mean, I guess. Some players enjoyed disguise. <laughs> it's just morph. Jesus. Other players preferred morph. It's the same thing. But better. Anyhow, the set was was a bad execution of a backdrop set. Boy, is that the understatement of the year. But wait, it's Wizards. I'm sure they'll have another one. Uh, the detective mechanic was overdone. Yeah, a lot. Also useless. Very useless. Limited was too aggro. The whole set was aggro. That's what Limited's about. What are you supposed to do in Limited? S sit back and hug it out? Jesus. Anyway, Outlaws of Thunder Junction. This ought to be good. Players enjoyed the suite of mechanics. The mechanics in Thunder Junction are amazing. Love the mechanics. Good stuff. Limited play was great. Limited play was fast and hard-hitting. It was its own thing, and I think it will always be its own thing for a while. It was good. Many players enjoyed the Western flavor. Well, okay, yes and no. I enjoyed the Western flavor, but the whole rob a train thing, bit much, bit much. Um, however, seeing Fibble Fit in a cowboy hat, definitely not on my bingo card. Glad we got it. Just saying. Uh, lessons. The plane felt paper thin. You think? There was a train. That's all I remember. There's a train. Uh, no justification for all the legendary creatures. Sure there was. There was a train. They were robbing a train. Anyway, the tone felt too jokey. I mean, it was damn close to an unset. And most of it, I didn't like the jokiness. However, however, there was some comedy gold in that set, and I do like that. Just going to point that out there. Modern Horizons 3. Ho, ho, ho. Bow before the greatness. Highlights. Many players love the references and callbacks. Nostalgia, did you say? Yes. More, please. The themes were fun. Yes. All the old themes in new, exciting ways. Getting to play them again in draft. Ho, ho, ho. Uh, limited was a blast. Like I said, play them in draft. Ha, ha, ha. Double face cards are a big hit. Always are. Normally very powerful. And it's Modern Horizons 3. Shit's blatantly powerful. Like, just like, blam, I'm here. Um, lessons. Many players didn't like impact on the older formats. Well, this is true. However, most of us old farts um, have gave up that ghost ever since you printed Modern Horizons 1 and destroyed the old formats. Modern will never be the same unless you ban all the Modern Horizon sets. Just putting it out there. Um, and I mean, do I want it to be the old way? Yeah, I do. Am I okay with the way it is now? For the most part, yes. So that lesson's about three years too late, at least. Uh, two cards have play balance issues. Nadu, the Winged Wisdom. Yeah, I don't know who's testing this shit, but they need fired. Um, and Riving Chrysalis. Again, a just issue in... in uh, sealed formats. Um, yeah, again, whoever's playtesting, they, they need a little help. Uh, we learned our themes. We leaned on our themes too much and not enough wacky one-offs. I'm not real big on wacky one-offs for like set sets. I mean, you go do an unset, there, there's your wacky one-offs. Uh, I mean, Modern Horizon 2 gave us Ragavon. That was a wacky one-off. And look at the goddamn chaos that thing's caused. Jesus. Uh, one more year. So uh, that's all I have to say about the design. I hope the insights talk reflect how we felt about our sets. Yada, yada, yada. So forth and so on and so on. So tell me down below what you think about all this. What's your main scope? What's your take? And personally, I think they're going to reprint the One Ring and Orcish Bowmasters. And we're going to pay out the nose for it. Because it's going to be a Modern horizon set or a specialty set or what have you. It's going to be a thing.
just gonna. Um, because also, God forbid they print that in the standard. Sweet Jesus, Lord help us. So, I'll see you down in the comments, wrestling later. So until next time, be kind. And as always, I hope to see you across from the game table. Ooh, talking about reprints probably, Jesus.